Amtrak is uh, evicting the people who are homeless here, who have been here for oh, well, seven years or more. And uh, they did give them an extension until February 24th. We asked for another extension because we need to find housing for them, a place where they can come as they please, you know, leave as they please, a place that's monitored. Because uh, that's what you know, the real street people who won't go into shelters need. So in the meantime, we're, we've, we've met with groups that we're looking for a place which is going to take uh, money and finding a place and we're, we're willing to do that and we're going to do it but in the meantime where do they go they have no place to go We're not just going to make this a thing where uh, we see them, push them on their way, and okay, what's our next issue? Our issue still has to be two things. Housing is a human right, and respect and concern for human beings as a whole. We have to keep that in mind at all times here because we, we don't want to be like they are. We're going to just plow this area and forget it. Right? We got to stay on these issues long term because some of the guys, including myself, need long term help. People are just used to living on the street. It's all that they know. And if that's all they know, who are we to say you must, you know, come into a shelter, you must live like everybody else does. Uh, we can't dictate to people the way they're going to live. But we can help them. I'm just hoping you guys remember this while we're here. We're not just bringing up a cross and sticking it in the ground and saying this is dead. That's right. It's not. Uh, this right. is going to keep on continuing and we're going to keep on needing everybody's help here because this is just one encampment. I would request, I would request that everyone give him a call, that everyone everyone give him a call, call and demand, and demand that the eviction, that the eviction be delayed, be delayed until permanent housing is found. Until until permanent permanent housing is found. The number is, the number is. No, I I Seven one six seven six six eight five six eight five five zero five zero nine eight nine eight Oma seven one six six eight five five zero What's his name again? The city should be concerned, the county should be concerned. Most of us know each other here. You know, there should be a place for them, besides regular homeless shelters. Who are you guys following? I don't know, I think he's one of the guys from Amtrak. He just, he just walks away. Yeah, he just walked away. He's away. Yeah, he don't want to talk. No, no, no. He don't want to talk in the boardrooms. He don't want to talk up to us. He don't want to talk up to
bless you, guys. Hey, dude. I'm all right. <laughs> Is that fun? That's, that's that's right. Right. I know everybody that works in mission, <laughs> and I know you don't work in mission, so. <laughs> yeah, don't work in mission. So we have a place on Roycroft in North that was just recently renovated. It's a three bedroom, it's not that large, but at least they can go there and stay temporarily, you know, until we're able to find a place. Uh, it's, it's an emergency situation, you know, so we have to move quickly. And uh, this place we have is, is all we have right now to give them because they're not going to go into regular homeless shelters. Look, our job is just starting here. And we're going to take on the city about city projects, about all these sweetheart deals they're giving corporations. And we're saying this, if you're going to give it to corporations, give it to the people. Give it to the people. Give it to the people. Give them some sweetheart deals. Give them some sweetheart deals. Right? right? And so we can help each other develop our own property, develop our own land, set them up to community trust. Yeah, and keep our city, keep our city, keep our people in our city alive and well. Yeah. All right, thank you.